Hey everyone, good to see you all again. It's been a little bit. Um, for those of you that follow the channel, uh, <laughs> I've been super busy lately. So uh, working full time and then uh, doing my tractor stuff on the side has been um, been busy. So I'm kind of the guy that does it all. I do the work. I do the you know I'm the one that takes the calls. I I do all the video editing. I shoot all the all the video so it's been busy um, I just don't have the time to edit video and put it all together and I'll put it to YouTube and so any of you that follow the channel and uh, also have your own channel you know what it's like it's uh, very time-consuming and um, it's actually quite a bit of work so um, ask you to overlook that for me you'll probably see more videos in the fall and the winter time from all the footage uh, from this year so um, but anyway uh, some updates for you. I uh, ended up graduating, got my degree, master's degree, so glad that's over with. A couple years of uh, work there, so um, I did it. I'm glad, I'm glad that's done. Um, people ask, like, why, if you have a master's degree in healthcare, why would you uh, be doing a bunch of tractor stuff? <laughs> well, it's just something different, something I enjoy uh, to be out here working with people and helping them with projects and doing some hands-on stuff. Otherwise, I just wear a shirt and tie every day. And I mean, I still work with people and help them with stuff, but it's just not outdoors, basically. So um, that's how I, how I connect to the outdoors and another way to connect with people and do something that's enjoyable and it's a fun hobby. So, But um, anyway, I've been doing a bunch of different stuff, but lots of different projects, doing a lot of garden tilling, um, helping people put in... Uh, their lawns, um, doing some grading around the houses and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's been busy. We've transplanted a few trees. Um, right now I'm working on putting in a, a kind of a parking pad. This guy had some overgrowth. They had to cut down some trees and remove all the overgrowth. And then we're going to put in some uh, put in some gravel there for a parking pad for his boat. So lots of stuff going on. It's been a really good, really good spring, really good uh time so far so anyway I wanted to show you some just real basic stuff here today um, had a lot of questions on uh, the trailer and the tractor and how it all fits in there so this has been an awesome dump trailer so far I've probably used it more than my other one which I wasn't sure I'd get that much use out of it but um, great purchase for sure I do not regret this purchase whatsoever so um, anyway, this is the 1025R, it's sitting inside. Um, I got a couple of inches left up here. I could have pulled forward a little bit more, but um, this is just to show you that you can get a, a bucket. Um, in this case, it's a grapple, but they're relatively the same size or the same width. And um, So anyway, you can get all that in there. I put the tiller between uh, the front of the tractor and the grapple there. And then um, I went with a 16 foot trailer and this is kind of why, so that I could fit more stuff in it. But anyway, if you have the, if you have a um, rotary cutter or a brush hog on the back, I mean, it is going to stick out the back, and um, technically you got to put a red flag on it or, or something just to notify other other drivers that it is hanging out the back there. So, um, but that's what it looks like. Uh, awesome trailer so far. Just wanted to show you that. Had some questions on. Um, if you had a brush hog, does it stick out the back? And yeah, it does a little bit. Um, you could go in backwards, but it's going to be the same same issue, I think. But this is a 16 foot. If you had a 14 footer, it'd be even more hanging over, and uh, we have to make some modifications. But anyway, I got this uh, pile of brush over here. This is from that uh, parking pad job that I'm working on. So. Uh, what we'll do is just show you, load this up. Um, had a lot of questions about getting the, getting the uh, grapple or the bucket over the edge of the uh, dump trailer. So just do a quick video on showing you loading this up and then you gotta take it to the landfill, dump it. So real simple today, but hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
So I haven't had too many issues with this trailer thus far, but the one thing I might talk about is uh, on the door where this uh, hinge is, there's a weld that's cracked. Um, easy fix, I could just weld it up. I'm sure I could take it to the dealer and they'd fix it also under warranty, but I don't know, it's pretty minor, but uh, eventually I'm sure it'll break and I'll have to fix it, so. Otherwise, it's been a really great trailer. It hasn't failed me yet. Um, one time I was lowering the trailer. There was some material that was stuck in the trailer at the top, and as I'm lowering it, it actually adds weight to the um, to the hydraulics, and so it comes down faster. This is not a gravity down. This is a battery down, I guess, if you will. So. When that happens and there's extra weight on the bed as it is lowered, it will actually overload the hydraulic flow a little bit and um, it'll actually overflow the fill cap um, on the reservoir. And so I couldn't understand why I was getting, getting that leak, but that's what happened. And so all you do is just add some more hydraulic fluid and it's good. So just beware on, on these ones with battery down, they might overflow. So for your safety sallies out there, I understand this probably isn't the safest way to unload the tiller, but it works every time. If you got a grapple, why not? All right, let's back up this truck so I can get a little better reach with the tractor. This is the AV20F Grapple from Frontier. Love this thing. It was great. It's a pretty big bite there. They all kind of tangled together. <laughs> I may have to grab two uh, two scoops here. Let's see how this goes. I had this all pushed into the dump trailer once already, so they're kind of tangled together. Yep. So I got plenty of room here. I mean, I probably got at least a foot over the, uh, once the uh, loader is raised all the way, I have about a foot over the edge of the, edge of the trailer. So you could put sideboards on and still clear it. It'd be a little more tight, but these are uh, two foot sides on this trailer. It's a low pro series. I think they make them even shallower. You can get them in maybe even a foot. I don't know if PJ makes those style ones, but I've seen other brands with shallower sides than this.
just at idle. I don't have the RPM up whatsoever. Just idling, taking it slow. Make an easy work of it. about this grapple is it has like a rake feature at the bottom it's unlike many other grapples that I've seen it makes it so that it can skid along the ground versus other grapples they just have like sharp tines that you can't really skid it across the ground so that's why one of the reasons why I prefer this AB20F over some of the other models that I've seen brush yesterday and then actually dump it and then reload it up today the reason for that is because I had to go back to the job site to get the tractor reload up all the equipment so because of that I had to dump it all but when you got a tractor it's not that big a deal you just come out here and have some fun Now, if I had to do this by hand, it'd be a different story. Probably would have just left the equipment at the job site and taken that risk just because I wouldn't want to load this all up by hand. close-up of what it's like right up right up to it and they got about I don't know if this is fully raised or not but it's close I mean that's probably 10 inches 8 10 inches or so so I got plenty of room to clear this so just to give you an idea Got to pack it down in there. Now I do wish. Uh, so if you have a Kubota, your loaders seem to be longer. In this instance, I almost kind of prefer that, though a loader, a longer loader will actually lift less because it's further away. The leverage works against you in that situation, but in situations like this where you're loading a dump trailer and you don't have much reach with the, with the loader, I can see where that can be beneficial, even if you can't lift as much. But an application such as brush and light materials such as this, that would actually be kind of desirable.
this is where I got a really small load right here. This is mainly just like mulch of material when I use the rotary cutter. But because this grapple has that kind of a skid pad on the bottom, it actually creates a small enough platform where I'm able to pick up really loose debris like this. And I really appreciate that feature. Now I want to show you something real quick here. I mentioned that kind of a skid platform at the bottom of this grapple. I want to show you how it's beneficial. I'm going to lower it right to the ground. And I'm actually going to put it in the float position. You can't do this with a lot of other grapples. See how I'm just floating right along the ground? It makes picking up materials really easy. You can tilt it forward, clamp it down. Other grapples don't have that. And you end up just digging right into the ground. All right, I got some twigs stuck to me. I'm just gonna pick up the rest of this by hand, maybe use a little bit of a rake to get these really small twigs, and then uh, go dump this load. But I hope that was helpful. You can see the grapple in action, how easy it is to pick up uh, large uh, materials of brush. Makes quick work of it, so. Well, lost that one. All right, let's try this again. Maybe I can hang on to it this time. There it is. Hey, by the way, if any of you guys use uh, ratchet straps, uh, get these ones. I got these off of Amazon. They're self-retracting. They're Ericsson brand. Uh, these are 10-foot straps. It comes in a pack of four. I can't remember how much they were, like 50, 60 bucks maybe. Um, totally, totally worth it. I highly recommend these. They Now beware, you get other ones that are only six feet long. You want the 10 footers. Uh, six feet will not reach over the reach over the trailer like this. It's too short, unless you have a narrower trailer. But this one is uh, 84 inches wide, so I think that's seven feet, something like that. They work fantastic. Except when you don't hang on to them and they go launching over the edge of the trailer. <laughs> All right, round two. Sometimes I actually like to uh, strap this down and then I'll put the tarp over it also. Our landfill here requires that you just have to have it either strapped down or tarped, either one. But I tell you, having the tarp kit on a trailer pre-installed is awesome. I, uh, I've rented dump trailers before and I just got the mesh tarps. I bought them at Menards and got some bungee cords. That works great too, but to have one that's already built in, you can't beat it. All right, let's go to the landfill. I got this uh, loader brush, and then I have uh, three bags of kitchen garbage in the box of the truck. Okay, sounds good. Take the trees up to site number eight, take the garbage to site number one, and stop back on the scale. Okay. Thank you. you All right, let's dump this loader brush. First thing we do is open this gate. Now on these PJ trailers, they got these pins over here. You make sure to lock those so that the doors don't get caught as the as the trailer is uh, tilting. Otherwise, it'll break them. Now these are the magical things about these. Hit the button, comes undone. I just throw mine over and then grab them at the end. Oh, 
I'm doing all this one-handed. Hit the button, they wind up on their own. This one got a little tangled up, but that's fine. Magic. Throw these in the back. <clears throat> okay, let's dump it. So earlier I was talking about if it's got a load in the in the box and you lower it, it'll actually overflow right at the cap because there's too much, I don't know, back pressure, I guess. So. Anyway, here's how this works. Awesome trailer. And that solar unit on there works really well too. I think I've only actually charged this thing with a cord maybe once. I've probably had about 20 dumps on this thing. None of them are super, super heavy of course, but that solar charger sure keeps it going. It's always good too for those of you that have a dump trailer or looking to get one make sure you set your parking brake on your vehicle when you do a load like this especially when you're dumping because it'll uh, save on your transmission those pins that keep it in gear sometimes those will break and then you're screwed so set your parking brake when you do this I don't know what the dump angle on this is I should look but it's seems pretty steep to me I think it's at least 40 degrees and you don't need to go that that high but just for demonstration of the video and we'll pull ahead all right let's see how we did there it all is beautiful beautimous It's always a good idea too, in terms of safety, when you uh, pick up a load or when you're lowering this back down, always stand outside of the width of the vehicle and the trailer. I see people stand a lot like right there. And like I said, if that parking brake isn't set or if the load is so heavy where it kind of lifts up the truck a little bit, um, it's, it's possible for this to move and people will get trapped in there, they'll get run over, stuck underneath vehicles, so always stand off to the side when you operate one of these dump trailers. All right, awesome. Let's not forget to close these gates. I've done that before. These little pull springs work great. Just pull them down, door swing. Other ones have latches that'll uh, kind of latch onto the uh, wheel wells. Those work good too, but the ergonomics, whoever designed these trailers, thought of the ergonomics, you don't have to walk around to each, each side. This right here, what I was talking about earlier, that weld right there broke. So I think I might fix that or Maybe take it in under warranty. It's not a big deal. I have a welder, so. All right. Hope you guys like that. That was good. All right, Peach, back to the house. Back to the house. Come on. Come on. Are you being a stubborn bulldog? With a bow on? Peach? I'm being stubborn. Yeah, now you're just sitting. Now you don't want to listen. No, we're not going for a walk. Come on. Come on. Unbelievable. I know you want to go for a walk, and I know you want to go play. 
and we will, but not right now. You have no remorse, do you? No remorse whatsoever. 